and gentlemen, and welcome to the turf fields at Hopkinton High School for Hopkinton Hillers Girls Varsity Soccer on HCAM. Tom Nappy alongside Steve Sweetapple on the call as the Hillers take on the Blackhawks of Bellingham today. John Ritz on camera. And it's a pretty nice day for soccer, a little bit cloudy, but no precipitation expected. So we are ready to get this TVL matchup underway here at Hopkinton High School. The Hiller girls certainly hoping for a win today after a tough time in their last couple of games. And we are underway as the Hillers start off working left to right across your screen. Lexi Hasbrook pass over to the middle to Megan Sullivan. And the Hillers on the attack, working into Bellingham territory. Here comes Hasbrouck. Pass over towards Delaney Mick, a little too far in front of her, out of play it goes. And it will be a Bellingham send off here. That one was sent off. Back to midfield and now here comes the Blackhawks trying to work into Hiller's territory as Kuna passes it over to the near side to Labellate. And we get a whistle here. It'll be Hiller's ball. Offsides. Bellingham, two wins, nine losses on the season as the Hillers work into the box. There's a shot deflected away by the defender. And out of play it goes. Off of Bellingham. Getting in front of that one was, I believe someone that is unlisted on the Bellingham roster. The Hillers, three wins, three losses, two ties on the season, they tied in their last matchup. That's eight points overall for the Hillers. You need 16 to get into the postseason as this one gets away from the goaltender and it's kicked out by a Blackhawk. Still in the danger zone, however, and now a save by the goalie, Haley King. King releases it to midfield. It was Madison Higgins saving the day there, Steve, for Bellingham. Yeah. yeah, it doesn't look like she's a normal goalie, so Hopkinton could uh, have an easy, easier time here with a field player playing in the net. And this one is a little bit to the left. Out of play it goes. We're about two and a half minutes into action here for this one. Far side, a couple hillers in the area. Pass over by Riley Delaney. Now it is Hasbro. Pass up to Delaney Mick. That's off of Lily York. Turn around by Allie Bird. Delaney Mick trying to catch up to it, and she'll set it towards the net, oh, and good. that'll send the goaltender out. Good save from the keeper. Haley King's been busy to start off this game. Hillers maintain control. Allie Bird with a pass over. Now getting in there, Megan Sullivan. Bird will track it down. Good one, too. Certainly is. Bird going in for the shot, and it's just a little wide. Well, that was a good look and a good setup by Sesnick. Bellingham led by head coach Len Goslin. Hillers led by Tom Skiba. Olivia O'Connor working it upfield. We're gonna whistle here offsides. Yeah, it says Nick was just a stride offsides. Jacqueline Gagnon will send it off.
Mick with the kick over towards the far side. Now Lily York gets in there. Sends it over to Sesnick. That's it. Pass Good over switch. by Sullivan towards Hasbro. Now Delaney Mick. Good ball. And another good save by the goaltender went off of Sesnick and Haley King wrapped it up. It's a great cross from Mick. Taylor is putting the pressure on in these early minutes. Once again wrapped up by King. I don't know if I've ever seen a goaltender have to make so many stops in the first five minutes. Up the near side goes Hasbro over to Delaney Mick. Mick over to Allie Bird. Bird trying to put on some moves. And now here comes Vile, and it is a save by King. Up the near side, here comes Mick. She was looking for Allie Bird there. Mick picks up possession, sends it back to Vile. Connor up the far side to Megan Sullivan. And it is turned away by Madison Higgins for Bellingham. Bellingham trying to work into Hiller's territory, but just having a tough time as Riley Delaney able to get the steal there. Has broke. There she comes over to Delaney Mick. There's a shot, and it's wide to the right by Lily York. That's a good idea from York, though. Pull the trigger from the outside. You know, it's not a regular keeper. Approaching the seven-minute mark into the first half. Bellingham set to send it away. Getting in front of that one, Delaney Mick. Maintains control along the near sideline over to Allie Bird. Bird over to York, cleared away. Hasbrook's there. Over to Mick, now Bird. Bird trying to close in, sends it across to Sesnick and it got away from her. Yeah, Sesnick should have used her body there. She, cardinal rule is if you lift your leg above your waist, don't. Play along the far side, throw in Hillers. Bird on the entry to Sullivan. Now here comes Hasbro. Nice move there. Hasbro. And that's wide right. Hopkinton midfield so far in the first eight minutes here, doing a good job of controlling the run of play. Bellingham's just having trouble getting possession of the ball. Victoria Taylor sends it away. Out of play. Throw in Hillers. Getting in front now is Vile. Sends it across over to Sullivan. Comes Bellingham up the far side. Lagasse trying to track it down. Hasbro sends it back to the goaltender. Getting her first action of the game in is Kristen McCluskey. Husky goes to Hasbro. First time we really saw Bellingham establish any type of possession in Hiller's territory. Nine minutes into action. Getting in there is Vile. Sun starts to peek out. Here comes York. Drop sides. High 60s for today's game. 
Cessnick was a good five yards offside there. Set to kick it away for Bellingham is Alexis Rodriguez. Along the near side and turned away. That was Eva Laboulier with possession. Or Laboulier, excuse me. Pass over towards the box, and there's a shot and scooped up by McCluskey. Alexis Rodriguez got in there for the shot. Well, just because Bellingham's had a rough season, certainly uh, have to stay aggressive if you're the Hillers. This is a win you absolutely need. Nice through ball. Out in front, here comes Delaney Mick approaching, looking for a shot, That's and in. it's in. Goal, Hillers. Comes well taken. With, absolutely. Comes with 29, 23 left to go in the first half. That was a great through ball. I think it was from York. Correct. Just waited perfectly. A nice run in from Delaney. Good calm finish. So the Hillers with the early lead. One to nothing. And Delaney Mick gets a little tripped up along the near sideline, laughs it off. Throw in Bellingham. And play once again. And we'll do the best we can with this Bellingham roster here, but an unlisted number eight throwing it in. I think a lot of these players changed numbers. Along the near side, here comes Vial over to Delaney Mick. Out in front, Allie Bird trying to track it down. Mick with the shot, it's deflected away. Out of play on the near side, throwing Hillers. Bird trying to rush in. Mick turns that one away, throw in Bellingham. Here comes Hasbrouck, trying to work it up to Burr, a little too far in front of her. Can't she catch up to it? And she did. Sort of. <laughs> and she actually, that was a great play. She was able to put it out. Off of Bellingham for a oh, corner. Yeah. Put it out right off of Victoria Taylor, and now it's a corner for the Hillers. Lily York will take it. Pass up the far side by Riley Delaney, and there's a long shot that's wrapped up. Header out of play off of Legassi. And out along the near side it goes, throwing Hillers. Delaney Mick. Out in front of Allie Bird, she has speed, here she comes. Good move there, she'll send it back to Mick. Nice ball. And Mick sends it just past Sesnick. Sesnick wins a corner kick. Yeah. Second corner of the game for the Hillers. There it is, right out in front. Oh. And oh. they can get there. Hopkinton's got to attack that. Yeah, O'Connor and Gossi kind of held off, hoping that Delaney Mick would get in there.
That was a perfect, perfectly taken corner kick from Sesnick. Waist high, flying across the box. Victoria Taylor will send it away. Out of play along the far side, throwing Hillers. Here comes Hopkinson, Delaney Mick. Cleared away. Hillers have certainly owned the pos possession battle in this first half so far, but only a 1 0 game. Bellingham trying to work it upfield. Billy York gets in there. Here comes York. Out to Delaney Mick. Mick with a shot on the ground, scooped up by King. Header by O'Connor. Far side to Sesnick. Sesnick sends it to York. York trying to send it to Allie Burl on the far side. She catches up to it, keeps it in play for the moment. Now back to York. York with a shot, and it's wrapped up by the goaltender. Haley well, King has been busy in this first half, but holding strong for Bellingham. Up the far side goes. Ogasi, pass up by Vial. Stepping in there, Kim Rodriguez for Bellingham. Nice step there from Legasi. Over towards Delaney Mick. It's a little bit of a header on it. Here comes Allie Bird. Bird with a shot, nice and strike. that is in. Two nothing Hillers. That goal comes with 24 minutes left. Well hit ball from Bird. She took her time, let the ball settle down. Nice right-footed strike. Well, Hillers looking strong in this one today. Up two to nothing on Bellingham. Blackhawks trying to work their way into Hiller's territory, but quickly deferred by Hasbro. And here comes Ashley Butler, who just recently hopped into the game, along the far side now. Let's save a Pearl off. Back to Butler, and out of play. I have a feeling everyone on the Hiller's roster is going to get a taste of the action today. Yep. Far side. We get a whistle. Offside Hillers, I believe. I think it was a handball. So free kick for Bellingham. Victoria Taylor takes it. And here comes the Blackhawks. working it back into Bellingham territory. Now we have a foot race up the far side. Getting to it is Perlov. Perlov a bit tripped up, able to stay with it somehow. Sends it to the box and it's wrapped up by the goaltender. King sends it away. Trying to get in there. Over to Hasbro. Hasbro sends it across. Over to Lagasse. She'll send it in the box. Wide left. I'm not sure if that was a shot or supposed to be just a through ball from Lagasse, but either way, it was hit a little too hard. Victoria Taylor will get rid of it. Perlov with possession. 
Sends it out in front. Allie Bird gets in there. Here comes Bird. And Bird shot deferred. And now it's back to Sullivan. Perlov with a shot. And that's turned away. It'll be a corner for the Hillers. Perlov set for the corner. Pretty good one. Bellingham defender got in there. Perlov sends it back to the near side. Pass over to Hasbrouck. Hasbrouck with a shot, that's turned away. Jumping in the middle of the shooting lane there was Haley Bassett. Better by Lyle, had a play along the near side. Throw in for Bellingham. Megan Fitzgerald took it. Off of Vial. Now here comes Butler. Pass up over to Bird. Bird trying to close in. Sends it over to Perlov. Now back to Bird. Bird rushing in and turned away. Yeah, foul on Bird. Yeah, little contact there. Free kick Bellingham. Just past 20 minutes left in this first half. Two nothing Hillers. Perlov. Now rushing in to help her out is Megan Sullivan. Riley Delaney sends it towards Hasbro. Now Ashley Butler turns it upfield towards Margie Allen. And she's just able to keep it in. And they could have a shot here. It's popped up off of Sullivan and scooped up by King. Allen did a great job getting to that ball in the corner. I didn't think she was going to get to it. On the far side, out of play. Throw in Bellingham. <laughs> Handful of substitutions for both sides. Gabrielle Siri, Maria Vassington, Riley Crodden Mocker coming into the game for the Hillers, as well as Tiffany McCullis. <laughs> into Hillers territory, Siri tracking it down. Sends it back to the goalkeeper. And Sullivan sends it upfield. Hiller's trying to work it back into Bellingham territory. Here comes the Blackhawks. There's a shot, and Kluski gets the foot on it, and will scoop it up. A yeah, decent shot there by Ambi Ferrone for Bellingham. <coughs> Along the near side now, over to Sullivan. Excuse me, that is Kelly Title. Title will throw it in. Out in front over to Allie Bird. And it's cleared away for the moment, but there's Baculus. Pass over to Allen. Margie Allen. Trying to turn it towards Bird, who was just waiting in front of the net. Pass over by Title. Good ball distribution by the Hillers. Ellie Bird sends it over. Still in the box. That one went right off of Bird. Now Margie Allen sends it over. There's a long shot by Mikulis that's wrapped up.
Somebody got a piece of that ball as well before it went towards the net. Pass over by Vassington. And had a play, I believe, off of Perlov. Yeah, there was. Oh, no. He's calling a corner. All right. So off of Bellingham it was. Perlov will take it. There it is. And the goaltender rushes out. She was trying to wrap it up, but could not. Perlov sends it over towards Bird. And nice control from Bird. A call oh, there. Yeah. There we go. I think this is the call here. Bird just kind of threw her body. It's a good little hip check. Yeah, right at Victoria Taylor. Certainly got to love the aggression, but you're usually not going to get away with something like that. It was a good heads up play from O'Connor there. The keeper got her hands on it, but she's not catching most stuff, so she was there for the rebound. There goes Perlov sending it to the net, wrapped up by King. Less than 15 minutes left to play in the first half now. 2 0 Hiller's lead. Tom Happy, Steve Sweet Apple on the call. John Ritz on camera. Perlov approaching. There's a shot and off of King's hands and she's able to wrap it up. Sends it towards midfield. Hopkinton doing a great job of exploiting the, the back uh, wings. And they're using their speed and their agility there. Throw in Bellingham. Here in offsides. No, just a little push. Free kick for Bellingham. Victoria Taylor will take it. Now bursting through is Allie Bird. Pass up along the far side. Able to get there's Perlov. Perlov working towards the net. There's a shot and a goal. Nice left footed strike from Perlov. Ava Perlov makes it three to nothing with 13.30 left to go in the first half. Good quick transition goal from Hopkinton. Three passes, almost the length of the field. See Vile back into the game for Olivia O'Connor. Hiller's trying to attack once again. Fassington with the pass up the far side. Perlov trying to track it down. Here comes Perlov approaching. Perlov sends it over to Bird. Now getting in there is McCulis. McCulis sends it back to Title. Now along the near side. With possession is Margie Allen. She airs it out into the box. There's the header, and the goaltender will wrap it up off of Bassington's header. Another good cross from Allen. Washington turns it towards the near side of McCulis. Now to title. Sent up by Butler. 
Good patient buildup from the Hillers. Here comes Margie Allen. Over to Allie Bird. Oh, There's nice unselfish shot and play. That is in. Good Maria unselfish Vassington. play. Bird could have struck that, and she just laid it off for her teammate. That goal comes at 12.08 left. Well, she wanted to share the goal scoring, right? Yep. Well, she gets the assist at least. Allie Bird already does have a goal today, so trying to share the wealth. 4 nothing Hopkinton. Yeah, the ref's putting on his sunglasses. I wish I would have brought mine down from the car. It was cloudy. What is this sun? You never know. <laughs> it is New England. Klusky will get rid of this one. Over to title. Allen. Bellingham going for a turnover here. Out of play it goes. Throwing Hillers. Tracked down by McCulis. It's up to Allen. Hewis over to Title. Title leaves it for Vassington out along the near side. Allen. Margie Allen tracking it down. And she was contested there by Victoria Taylor. Out of play, it goes along the near side, however, throwing Hillers. Kelly Title. Just pass Butler. Riley Kronenmacher tracks it down for the Hillers. And they'll let McCluskey clear it upfield. Title with the pass towards Vassington. <laughs> On the far side, Siri out of play. Hiller is maintaining control of this one so far. Vassington nice through leaves ball. it up. There's a shot, There's and a that is in. Ava Perlov with her second goal of the game. Well taken ball. Didn't hit it hard, just lofted it right over the goalie's head. And that comes with 9.44 left. Five nothing Hillers. Well, some great shots today by Hopkinton so far. Crowd and Mocker. And McCluskey will wrap it up. Here's Title. Bassington, near side, Allen. Nice job there by Title getting the foot on it, but it went out of play. Kulis gets in there, sends it back towards Vile.
Well, on the far side, it's a series, some good footwork. McCullis. Here comes Tiffany McCullis. Good ball. Great pass there. Another shooting opportunity here, perhaps. Pass over into the box, Lagasse. And a play Bellingham. Got to play it goes. Sealers will retake the throw in. Here's a shot off a Blackhawk from Lagasse. And get a whistle here and a shooken up Bellingham player. Injured player on the field, 7.43. Left to go. The Hillers up five to nothing. We'll take a timeout on H Cam. Have you ever considered texting and driving? If so, you should know the consequences. If caught texting and driving for the first time, you could get in a hundred dollar fine plus your license taken away for sixty days. The consequences only get worse the more you get caught. Even if you don't get caught, there could be serious effects. You could get into a car accident and hurt yourself or someone else. Texting and driving is a very dangerous combination, so stop before this happens to you. An injured player for Bellingham. We certainly hope she's okay. She has come out of the game, was helped off by the trainer and her coach. She was walking under her own power, which is good to see. It looks like they're checking her for a concussion now. So I think there was some head contact, so obviously they're going to take those precautions and Make sure she doesn't have a concussion. And we are back underway here in the first half. A 5 nothing lead for the Hillers. Throwing for Bellingham. Amelia Delisle on the entry. There's a boot in the Hillers territory by Laboulet. Cleared up field by McCluskey. Did I say that name right, Steve? Yep, you did. <laughs> He's the only one on the roster that was going to give us trouble. Yeah. Kulis with the pass up over to Margie Allen. Now sending it to her left is title. Now it's out in front of Allen. Allen with a boot. And it went off of Bellingham out of play. It'll be a corner for the Hillers. Margie Allen will take it. About six and a half minutes left to play here in the first half. Let's see where she goes with this corner. Into the box, no one there for the Hillers. Allen gets in there to keep it in Hillers' possession. Nice pass by McCullis. Allen sends it flying over the far side off of Perlov. And it's scooped up by the goaltender. On their side, out it goes. Throw in Hillers. Kelly Title takes it. Over to McCullis. McCullis sends it over towards Butler. Back to Allen. Scooped up by Krodenmacher. Pass up out in front towards Lagasse. Back in Ehlers territory it goes. Vile sends it over to McCluskey. Now along the near side title. Title working it upfield. Here she comes. Pass just past Allen out of play. Bellingham throwing with under five minutes left. Well, the Hillers girls volleyball team got a big win the other night. Steve, I understand the atmosphere was electric. It was. It was a packed Ashland 
gym and uh, a loud and raucous environment, but the Hillers prevailed three sets to one. They stay undefeated now, eight and zero, or actually nine and zero on the season. They had another game after that, I believe. On the near side, out of play, off of Allen. Miller's girls soccer, three, three, and two heading into today's game. Looking to get to that 16 point mark. And things are looking good for another two points here today. We'll take you through the TVL large standings as Bellingham gets rid of it. Westwood four, three, and three. Ashland three, six, and oh. Medfield five, two, and two. two. Norwood one, eight, and oh. Holliston a perfect seven, oh, and oh. Hopkinton three, three, and two. TVL small, Bellingham 2 9 and 0. Oh. Norton 3 5 and 0. Oh. Dover Sherborne 7 1 and 0. Oh. Medway 2 4 and 2. Millis 7 1 and 2. And Dedham 5 4 and 1. Hiller is working along the far side near the box. Lagasse out in front. Approaches the ball. Nice shot, but just wide. She's got some air under that one. Going for that top corner. Good interchangeable player. Started out at left outside D, and now she's playing striker. That one just passed her. Title sends it back to Krodenmacher. There's Vile. Just past Baculus. Does Bellingham have something going here? Let's see. Along the near side, out of play. Hiller's throwing. Megan Sullivan takes it over to Margie Allen. She goes. Krademacher. Sends it over to McCluskey. Header out of bounds off of Bellingham. Comes back over to Krautenmacher. Cleared away by McCluskey. Up the far side comes Lagasse. Nice pass along the sideline there. Lagasse and Perlov working together. Now over to Vassington. Now McCulis. McCulis with some good footwork. Title. To Krademacher, back to title. Kulis sends it up. Pass back by Vassington. Kulis gonna take the shot here. Oh, nice strike. Just wide. Just wide. Great movement from the girls. Certainly is. Let the ball do the work. Two minutes left to go in the first half. Ball on the near side. Kulis gets in there. Nice steal. Back to Krodenmacher. Will the Hillers set up shop? McCluskey going to air it out. To the near side, not what she wanted to do there, just in front of title. Throw in Bellingham. And a nice steal there by Margie Allen. And that'll do it for the first half. After one half of play, the Hillers in control. 
leading Bellingham five to nothing. You're tuned in to Hiller Girls Varsity Soccer on HCAM. So what are the signs of an opioid overdose and how can I recognize that somebody is experiencing one? Well, they're actually pretty easy to spot. A person who is experiencing an overdose may appear confused and have a decreased level of consciousness and alertness. They also may have constricted pupils. When you see somebody who's experiencing an overdose, the number one most important thing to do first is to call 911. Next, do rescue breathing. And finally, take out your naloxone kit and administer the naloxone. Naloxone comes in an easy to use package with instructions for how to use it. Each box of naloxone may look different. They're all very easy to use and you do not need medical training in order to use it. So who should have nasal naloxone? Well, everybody should have it to help a loved one who may be suffering from a substance abuse disorder or just to help a stranger in need. Obtaining naloxone is easy. You can obtain it from your doctor, from a pharmacy standing order, or from any of the Department of Public Health sites. By just following these simple steps, you might just be able to save a life. Continuing on to the second half of 5 0 Hiller's lead over Bellingham. Tom Nappy alongside Steve Sweetapple on the call, John Ritz on camera. Hiller's domination in the first half. With the first goal, it was Delaney Mick at 29 23 left to go. Lily York on the assist, and then Allie Bird with 24 minutes left to go. And then you had Ava Perlov with a third goal with 13 30 left to go. Maria Vassington with 12 08 left to go. And Ava Perlov with another goal at 9 44 left to go. Yeah, dominating half from the Hillers. Midfield did a fantastic job of controlling the run of play. Good solid build up from the from the backup and transition. So see if the girls can keep it up for the second half. Yeah. And it looks like Bellingham is a player short. So get one out there. Chloe in right into the game. Miller's three wins, three losses, two ties on the season, eight points. You need 16 to get into the postseason, so. More than likely with today's game, they'll pick up two points, so they'll be up to 10 heading into Thursday's battle with Ashland. Hopkinson will work right to left across your screen for the second half. Here comes Perlov. Pass up over to Sesnik. Perlov, good footwork there. Sesnik sends it across. Bassington with the pass over to Margie Allen. Now title sends it back over to Riley Delaney. Pass up over to Butler. Now to Siri. And at a playoff of Bellingham. Throw in Hillers, Siri on the entry. Sesnick is trying to leave it for McCulis to get in there and take a shot. Over to Perlov. And Sesnick offsides. Bellingham will clear it away. Siri with the knee there to keep it in Bellingham territory. Riley Delaney tracks it down, sends it back to McCluskey. Over to Perlov. Pass up to Sesnik. Perlov gonna try to track it down. It's a foot race here. Bellingham gets there first. Sesnik. Here goes Butler. Leaving it for Sesnick, back to Butler, closing in, centers it up. Shot, nice shot goal. from Mikulis. Well taken. Tiffany Mikulis on the sixth Hillers goal of the game. And we're going to have the running clock rule go into effect, I believe, as that clock continues to run. Six or more in the six goal lead or more in the second half, I believe it's the running clock.
on the far side. Allen, pass over to Vassington. Now to Butler. Siri tracks it down just before it was gonna go out of bounds. Now it's put out off of Bellingham. Good job by Siri there as she throws in the Perloff. Perloff with a shot. And that's wrapped up by the goaltender. I believe we have a new goaltender for Bellingham. Haley King started the game in net and from what I heard on the sideline, she was only, uh, she's only in eighth grade. So Bellingham missing some players on their team. Getting some of the JV squad in there and a couple eighth graders got some action for the Blackhawks. So that's out of bounds corner for the Hillers. I want to say it's McKenna Costello in that for Bellingham. Uh, no, it's uh, Laboulier. It's Laboulier. Corner from the near side for the Hillers. Says Nick takes it out in front, and no one can get there in time. Bellingham will clear it away. Sesnick. Butler gets in there, and we'll get a call here. I think it against the Hillers. A little no, trip. No, against Bellingham. Ah, all right. So the Hillers will have a free kick. Gabriella Siri will take it. Airs it out, going Good straight. Ball. And there's a header wide left. Good attempt by Butler. Great ball from Siri. Victoria Taylor will kick it away for Bellingham. Is trying to attack once again. Bassington with the pass back over to McCullis. Now Riley Delaney. Pass over by Butler to Siri. Along the near sideline of Perloff. She already has two goals today. So give that one a boot, and it's wrapped up by Lavoulier. Along the far side, that's title with the pass up over to Vassington. Now back to Riley Delaney. Siri leaves it for Perlov, who's going to track it down into the corner. Perlov trying to work her way into the box. Sends it over to Butler. Butler with a shot, and it's wrapped up by Laboulier. Good save from the keeper. Held her position well. Get her by Delaney. Pass up over to McCullis. On the far side, pass up by Title. Title launches it towards the box. There's a shot by Sesnick, deferred by a defender. Good steal by McCullis. Here comes the Hillers from the right corner. Oh, Out great cross That's from in. Allen. Perlov with her hat trick. Ava Perlov with her third goal of the game. Great delivery from Margaret Allen. Margie Allen on the assist. 7 nothing Hillers. 32-40 left to go. Pass up 
Pass up over to Butler. Now to Perlov. Maybe goal number four. Let's see. She has some open space to work with. Sends it in front of the box. Bellingham trying to work up field. They have not been in Hiller's territory much here in the first eight minutes of the second half. Controlled by Vassington. Sent back now along the far side. That is title. Tracking it down. Vassington leaves it out in front. Allen trying to race in. Put out a play. It'll be a Bellingham throw in. Free kick Hillers. Margie Allen will take it. Sends it flying out in front. A little header by Vassington will force LeBoulier out of the net. Stolen away by Perlov. Here comes Siri. Nice move there by Siri. Gets it into the box. Off of Butler. Cleared back out. Perlov is there. And that's cleared way out. Throw in Hillers. Siri on the entry. Bassington gets to it. Pass along the far side of McCullis. Back to Delaney. Now Crowdenmacher. Up to Siri. She finds Perlov. Into the box. Out in front. It was a nice pass by Vile, but McCullis was blocked out. And launching this one in the air was title, and it went off the goaltender, still in play. Siri. Sends it towards the net. And nobody wide. making a delayed run there. Yeah, wide to the right. Just over 10 minutes into the second half. Seven nothing lead for the Hillers. Off of Vassington, pass over by Siri. Santo over by Butler. Pass up by Title. Delaney to Crowdenmacher. Here comes Butler. Over to Allen. Out in front, shot, goal, Hillers. Good Lexus movement. File. Nice one touch passing. So Lexi with the goal at 28 25 left to go. Yeah, I think the clock should keep running. I don't know why they're stopping it now, but in any case, Sailor is with a big, comfortable lead. Throw in from the far side for Hopkinson. On the near side, Delaney Mick. 
Yeah, so Delaney Mick is back at uh, playing defense. Siri has moved up front. Siri out in front. Vile almost got there again. Wrapped up by Lavoulier. Yeah, Hiller's uh, switching things around with a comfortable lead like this. Yep. Getting uh, some players some experience at different positions. On the far side. And wide of the net goes Title. up the far side off of title. And a play it goes, throwing Hillers. Lily York takes it. Pass over to Krodenmacher. And she's just able to keep it in. And now here comes Delaney Mick. Mick over to Siri. Siri airs it out. Oh. I thought she was going to go for the shot there. And then it's put out of play off of McEwen. I think it was a cross, but it was so close to going in. It certainly was. Siri. Over the ref's head it goes. Sends it over towards Vile. It went off of Vile out of play. Billy <laughs> Bassett will kick it away. On the far side, here comes Butler. She was looking for Siri. Now getting in there is Delaney Mick. Siri. Here she goes. Sends it out in front to Vassington. Cleared away for the moment. Vassington with possession. Over to Butler. Now to Mick. Butler looking for Siri. Here she goes, shot in. And nice, nice shot from Siri. Gabriella Siri makes it nine to nothing. 24-22 left. I think there should be some kind of mercy rules. There. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I mean, Hopkinton's doing a little bit of sportsmanship here with moving defenders up to forwards and forwards back to defenders, but there's just a, a big delta in the skill level here. I think there should be a 10-goal lead mercy rule. <laughs> Could even go eight. Along the far side, out of play. But I'm sure it'll be a somewhat shortened second half. Pass over by Vile, cleared away by Bellingham. Tracked down by Crowdenmacher. 
And McCluskey will wrap it up. Airs it out to midfield. Bellingham trying to work their way into Hiller's territory out of play. Throw in Hopkinton. Pass over by Siri to oh, good Vassington ball. out in front. Here comes the Hillers charging in. And there's a shot and it is in by Kelly Title. Well struck ball from Kelly. 10 to nothing Hillers. That was a great shot. Comes at 22-42. Ava Perlov's gonna play some defense, looks like. Free kick killers, trip on Bellingham. Lily York takes it. Killers in the box once again. Title is going to launch it, and it's scooped up by Laboulier. Well, Hiller's had five goals in the first half, had another five so far in the second half. Title sends it over now out in front. Perloff. Into the box. Stolen by Butler. Crowded Mocker. Out in front to Vile. Now Siri to Vile. Goal Hillers. What a great setup by Siri. Yep, great ball from Siri. Little one two action between Vile and Siri. Little toe poke finish. 11 to nothing, Hillers. Well, if I'm in charge of that scoreboard clock, Steve, it, it I'm putting stop it on the entire I'd, second half. I, I, I would be having it on fast forward. It'd be like in the soccer video games where they're counting yeah. three seconds instead of one. Bellingham trying to work in Ehlers territory. Stolen by Vassington. Over to Butler. Now it is McCullis. Bellingham trying to attack, deferred once again, Siri. Vassington over to Butler. Perlov. Here comes Bellingham. Not for long, says Riley Delaney. Along the far side. Hopkins' midfield is taken yeah, control in the second half, just like they did in the first half, but almost a little giveaway here from the Hillers. I think 
now they're just kind of playing keep away. <laughs> Pass over. Here comes the Hillers. Passing it around <laughs> at this point, up 11 nothing. Why not burn that clock out? <laughs> Got a long way to go, however. Vile down in front of Vassington. Pass over towards Perlov. There's Vassington. Sends it back to McCulis. On the far side, that's little York. Bellingham thought they were going to get upfield, but McCulis had other ideas. Pass over to Siri. Now Perloff. Well, a good momentum boost for the Hillers heading into Thursday's matchup with Ashland. It'll be a good one. Hillers going to improve to 4 3 and 2 on the season. They'll be up to 10 points overall, just six points away from clinching a postseason spot. Of course, you want to try to get some more points than that to get some home field advantage. Siri tracking it down. Might have a shot opportunity here. She'll rip it across. Uh, up. Nope, kept in play. Bully able to wrap it up. Title with the pass over to Siri. Excuse me, Butler. Now over to McCulis. Well, York sends it up to title. And it is tracked down by title. York. It looks like the girls might be under orders not to shoot now. So they're just working the ball. Uh, yeah, I think so. If Bill Belichick was the coach, I don't know if he'd go that approach. No, no. <laughs> be 30 to nothing. <laughs> Comes Bellingham. Passed down by Riley Delaney. Nice defensive play there by Riley Delaney. Siri with some good footwork. Just domination today by the Hillers as Butler gets it out to title. Siri. Hey. 
This is a good way to uh, really test your ball handling skills here. Just kind of pass it around, play keep away. Yeah, McCulis and Butler doing a nice job in center mid, just disrupting play when Hopkinton does turn it over. Nice move there by Butler. The Hillers, I mean, they don't have a huge roster, so really you gotta work with what you got. It's not like you're gonna get your JV team in there because they gotta play next. But they're getting their uh, practicing some skills out there, up 11 to nothing. Throw in the Hopkinton. Perlov on the entry. Back out of play it goes. Couple substitutions for Bellingham. Bellingham will hold a two and ten overall. Very young team. They've also dealt with some injuries. Hoping to get a shot off. Mile with the pass up. No one there at the moment. Besides Paige Goodard for Bellingham. Mile trying to hop in there, stole it away. And it's pushed away from her. Working along the far side, Aculus. Up to Vassington. Perlov. Hiller's just going to continue practicing that ball handling. Pure domination today. Got ourselves a barn burner, Steve. Yeah. <laughs> Good thing for John, our cameraman, though. He gets paid for every Hiller's goal, so. He's gonna make some uh, good money today. He could have made more. Could have. He's lamenting this nice sportsmanship from the Hillers of just controlling the the ball. Ma management called down to the coach. And yeah. Said, hey, uh, <laughs> enough's enough already. Bassington pass up the far side. Is she gonna take a shot here? Open opportunity? Nope. Yeah, a situation like this, I think certainly some mercy rules need to be invented. <laughs> Siri sends that one on the ground. Bill 
Bellingham working upfield. Kluski will come way out, clear it over to the near side. Wrapped up by McCluskey. First real save she's had to make yeah. this half. Yeah, it was due to Hiller turnover too. Butler. Perlov. Out in front of Siri. And out of play it goes. Up the near side, stolen by Riley Delaney. Siri going to take it down. And she'll try a shot here, why not? Wrapped up by LaBoulier. Sun's starting to peek back out. Bassington pass up over to Butler. Here's Siri, wide open opportunity. Is she going to take it? No. curious to see is before the association rules came into effect they did have the running clock I, I believe is when you're up by six or more we haven't seen the running clock this game except one time where I think it was just the clock operator kind of forgetting to hit the stop button but we'll see if they shorten the second half at all with the Hillers up 11 to nothing Six thirty and counting on the clock. But I think in a dominant game like this, sometimes you risk having uh, kids get hurt out there. Yeah, it, it, it's not a. There's been no chippiness though, and right. a lot of it. It also is. It, uh, Bellingham just they can't stay with Hopkinton speed wise. I mean, it's not football, but when uh, one team has a big advantage, injury, if an injury happened on either side, it certainly wouldn't be a good situation. But the Hillers certainly getting their uh, ball handling drills in today. with the pass over. Butler's gonna send it back, continue burning that clock. Massington with the pass up. Out in front, LeBoulier comes out.
Kept in play by Laboulier. for the Hillers, Riley Delaney will send it back to McCluskey. Off sides. Imagine too much stoppage time will be implemented. Throw in Hillers. Pure domination today by the Hillers. Five goals in the first half, six in the second half, and Really, they've just been playing keep away for the last 15 minutes or so. Yeah, it's it's been a 95-5 percentage uh, possession difference here. Yeah, Bellingham maybe going to get a shot off here. There's a good shot wrapped up. Bellingham trying to control. to Butler. Well, Delaney Mick got a goal today. Allie Bird, Ava Perlov got a couple. Maria Vassington, Tiffany McCullis, Gabriella Siri, Le Lexi Vile, Kelly Title. All got goals today for the Hillers. A lot of names on the score sheet. It certainly is. Ooh. And that's it. Uh, I don't know. No, that's the end. Oh, all right. There we go. That'll do it. The Hopkinton Hillers take down Bellingham 11 to nothing. Hillers now up to 10 points overall. 4 3 and 2 on the season. Bellingham falls to 2 and 10. For John Ritz on camera, my broadcast partner Steve Sweet Apple. I'm Tom Nappy. Thank you for watching Hopkinton Hillers Girls Varsity Soccer on HCAM. Take care, enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll talk to you again soon.